The US Bitcoin exchange traded fund market is experiencing intense rivalry as various ETF issuers so view for market leadership. This struggle for dominance is anticipated to potentially lead to the shutdown of several ETFs due to them not being profitable. Investors, however, stand to benefit from this scenario as they enjoy reduced fund management costs and better market access. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and let's start. And we're starting off with Bitcoin forming a similar structure before it, go, it goes vertical. Black Swan, vertical accumulation, breakout, up and up, only we go. Also, Justin, the Bitcoin market cap is now over a trillion dollars, holding the 10 spot over there and getting closer to Meta, a 49 spot and 1.2 trillion dollars market cap. We are really close to that. What would you do if you woke up and saw this on Bitcoin? That would be really bad, but a really great opportunity to buy. A lot of people would say that the bubble bursts, but we are going to buy a lot because we know what's about to happen next. The massive explosion and the biggest comeback ever in history. This is why I believe Bitcoin below 50,000 is done. Are there any pullbacks on the daily chart? Yes, there are. Are those worth trading? Not for me. This is a move towards a new autumn highs. It can be quite risky trading against such a strong move. Next up, we go with the breaking uh, Grayscale Bitcoin Trust only sent 295 Bitcoin to Coinbase Premium, 15.2 million dollars to date. Justin, BlackRock and Fidelity now own a combined 185,000 Bitcoin worth $9.5 billion for their spot Bitcoin ETFs. That's already massive. BlackRock is scooping up Bitcoin at an alarming rate. Until now, every coin they've locked down has come from someone who valued it at the less than $52,000. We're only one month into this thing. What happens when they run out of short-term sellers to buy from? So far, everyone who has sold their coins to BlackRock has been left behind. They got their back of fight and watched the Bitcoin train leave their ass in the dust. The people who have given up their finite Bitcoin for infinite fight likely never understood what they were holding or just how much the game has changed. But there are many of us who do understand. The question that people need to be asking is this. After BlackRock grinds through these short-term holders, what kind of prices will they need to pay to get coins off of the long-term holders who deeply understand Bitcoin? There are many who value their stack at $1 million per coin, and there are others who will never sell, especially not to BlackRock. You move on, Larry. Bitcoin 52,000 is weekly HDF board and key level. If Bitcoin can break above the 52,000 and keep it as a support, then Bitcoin will go to 65k and a 69k and as a previous autumn high. I can see this happen because BlackRock and Fidelity are buying hard and they are buying with both hands and feet like I did at 16 to 20,000 dollars. Check out my pin for reference on financial advice. So crypto is in the bull market so naturally, it is an uptrend. Bitcoin ETF doesn't change that, but it can change the fact how much we rally and how shallow we correct. As the analyst Michael Wan de Pop, uh, Bitcoins and Ethereum's price insights. So cryptocurrency market continues to experience an exciting February. Today, the price of Bitcoin has crossed $51,000 as a significant development. Bitcoin's market value has once again risen above the $1 trillion. With the positive developments, popular analyst Michael Wan de Pop shared his thoughts on social media platform X while providing a price target for Bitcoin. The analyst also had important things to say about the Ethereum. And at least Michael Wan de Pop's Bitcoin assessment. Crypto analyst Michael Wan de Pop, who has 693,000 followers on X, commented on Bitcoin's rise above the $51,000 level. The analyst stated that the Bitcoin price has reached its highest level in the last two years, giving an idea about the general direction of the market. Analyst mentioned that he had previously said there was more strength in the cryptocurrency market than he expected, revealing his approach to the Bitcoin price before the halving. According to the analyst, the Bitcoin price will likely reach a significant level before the halving. The level forecasted this, uh, by the analyst is between 54,000 and 58,000. Also, he emphasizes on the Ethereum. US Bitcoin ETF market sees a cutthroat competition as issuers battle for dominance. 
So the US Bitcoin exchange traded fund market is experiencing intense rivalry as various ETF issuers we view the four uh, market leadership. Intense fee competition strains smaller Bitcoin ETF issuers. The ongoing price was over fund management fees in making it, uh, it tough for smaller Bitcoin ETF issuers to compete. Hector McNeil of uh, Han ETF notes that while most existing ETFs are likely to cease operations, only a handful are expected to achieve financial success. The majority of the more than $20 billion, in, uh, $10, $10 billion invested in Bitcoin ETFs is concentrated within the products offered by major players such as BlackRock and Fidelity. Entry barriers rise for new Bitcoin ETF contenders. The high entry barrier to the Steve competition have led to several ETF issuers like GlobalX and Pandox exiting the market or holding off on their plans. Current issuers are being forced to lower their management fees to capture investor interest, which in turn makes the market less accessible to new entrants. Without a substantial asset or a robust distribution network, new issuers face an uphill battle to gain profitability. Not only do they need to contend with reduced fees, but smaller issuers also require the support of wealthy investors to sustain their operations in the face of the competition from established giants. As this was the point underlined by ETF analyst Henry Jim from Bloomberg, despite the competition pressures on issuers, the intense fee competition is advantageous to ETF purchases and the investment community. It also contributes to enhanced liquidity for both Bitcoin and ETF markets, according to market makers. The next one we go with, MicroStrategy pivots to Bitcoin development, champions Bitcoin as ultimate investment. MicroStrategy executive chairman Michael Saylor has announced that this company will be refo refocusing its objectives entirely on Bitcoin development, which he claims is the world's most popular investment asset. Saylor hails Bitcoin as the global investment favorite. In MicroStrategy, the business intelligence firm under the leadership of its executive chairman Michael Saylor has solidified its stance on Bitcoin as the ultimate investment asset. In a recent interview, Saylor explained why Bitcoin has already evolved and to be a numero uno of investment assets on a global level. Taylor emphasizes Bitcoin's unique features, highlighting its lack of correlation to traditional risk assets and immunity to various external factors like geopolitical attentions and business performance metrics, as these qualities have further fueled the, the demand for Bitcoin as an investment instrument. Bitcoin's market dynamics after spot ETF launch On Monday, the premier crypto experienced a 26-month high by hitting the much-awaited $50,000 mark. Saylor has attributed this momentous achievement to the quick stabilization following the launch of spot Bitcoin exchange traded funds ETFs. He pointed out that the significant demand that Bitcoin has from ETFs surpasses the supply from natural sellers like miners, as this dynamic has led to a remarkable 13% growth in Bitcoin's value over the past 30 days, reinforcing its position as highly sought after investment. According to Saylor, the accessibility of Bitcoin through the ETFs has unleashed around 10 years of pent up demand from mainstream investors, as this accessibility factor has been a major driver in a boosting Bitcoin's market the value. That's all the information we got on today's video, and if you are interested in more, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you in the next one, and peace.